Welcome to the channel. Today we are unboxing and reviewing from AW Unrivaled Series 14, Swerve Strickland. This rest of the wave here, you've got Keith Lee, you've got Tony Storm, you've got Ricky Starks, you've got Anthony Bones, you've got Max Caster, and we've got Billy Gunn, the chase figure. This is from the 3rd of November, 2022, Rampage. So, here is figure number 126 in the Unrivaled line. Has a lot of figgies. Right. I'm going to cut back to one of this boys open. In a minute. So this is Swan Strickland out of the box. Accessories you get here. You get two pairs. A pair of fists hands as you see there. And a pair of Mike Holding hats. Which on the other ones on the right side. It's got his tattoo on the side there. So all good and good. You've got the glasses, which we're going to just try on now. Plop those in. Plop, plop them in. Would be nice. Even though they feel like they're going to break any moment. Okay. I'm going to try and position this in such a way where it will stay in. There we go. Glasses in, jackets on. Design's pretty good. It's a shame it's a rubber jacket though. Because it can't really pose this around with the rubber jacket on. Head sculpts itself, very good. Going to try and get this jacket off. See, you have to remove the hands. If I don't knock my background over, it'd be nice. I'm going to cut back to once we got this thing off. Because it's going to take a while to get off, as it is rubber. Alright, there we go. So. Let's see without the jacket off. It's got all the tattoos and bits and mobs there. Wish it came with a chain. As you can see on the back of the box, it has a chain there. Uh, but, gear itself is all good. No issues there. Tattoo work is all there. Articulations, very good. Around the arms, up and down, double jointed. On the arms themselves. Head removal, of course. Legs all the way back, all the way forward. Bit of swivel there, all the way back, all the way forward. Well, not all the way back, but like halfway. Enough that you could make it realistic. And it's got the nice designs there. Ankle articulations, silver there. It's a very good figure, to be fair. Have no real complaints. Belt's all nice, it's all decoed and painted there. What I will want to try and do is uh, a little bit of a custom here, custom job. Uh, I've got here the Elite, I believe it's 99, Seth Rollins jacket. It might be 99, it might be 102. Not 100% sure. But anyway, it came with the Seth. Uh, it's also going to come in the top pick. So if you want to try this custom out, you might have to wait a little bit. I'm not sure if it's still on pegs or whatever. But... Let's try this jacket on, because I think it will look well. So let's do that in a moment. So that's with this swerve little custom jobby here. I think it suits the actual, this jacket. Because I've seen a fair few people do this. I will say it's not my original idea. But this jacket works a lot better than this rubber, rubber one. Even though it's got like logos and details and bits and all that. Just nah. articulation in general, very good. Ab articulation, chest articulation, all good. As I said before, the only thing I will be doing is just going to be comparing this to some other AEW figures, and uh, yeah, and then I think that we'll give that final thought. So, we're we comparing them to the Hangman Series 5, which is a bit of customized because I put the Series 2 ahead on it, and jacket. And we're going to compare him to the Unrivaled Series 14 Keith Lee. Height-wise, yeah, he matches perfectly well. The only thing that I have noticed that does annoy me, the glasses are missing like a little logo. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that properly. But it's not 100% accurate, but hey-ho. Just missing some details on the glasses. But height-wise, I think he works pretty well. I think he's a little bit bigger than him. Let's have a look. Is he bigger than him in here? 
yeah, it's a little bit bigger in, in figure form. And then I think he's a, roughly the same height as a little bit bigger than Hangman. No, Hangman's a bit too big. So I think maybe they could have done this a little bit bigger. But, there you go. AW's not always great for scale when it comes to uh, things. But overall, it's a great figure nonetheless. I'd give it 9 out of 10. Make, nah, I can't really do a 9. Maybe an 8.5, because if they made this jacket soft goods, I think that would have made this figure a lot better. And if they did the details of the glasses. The figure itself, though, is really good. So anyway, if you agree, disagree, let me know down in the comments below. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.